In this video, we're going to explore the seven different circuit types that are available to us when mixing vocals in Logic Pro 10. So right now we're using Platinum Digital, meaning this is simply just a digital compressor. It's not modeling the circuit of an analog compressor in any way. So it's very clean, very transparent, and suffices for just generally taming the dynamics of a vocal. For me, I use it 90% of the time, but when I want a bit of flavor, I resort to the different circuit types that are available to us, including Studio VCA, Studio FET, etc. What we're gonna do in this video is use an extreme setting to listen to the different characteristics of the different circuit types that are available to us so that you can get an idea of what flavors you have available to you when you're trying to shape the tonal and the dynamic characteristics of your vocal. So I'm just going to create a really extreme setting. So I'm gonna turn up the ratio, have the threshold quite low, and I'm gonna turn down the attack and release. So let's have a listen. Okay, so there's a lot of pumping, but I need to turn up the makeup game because that excessive reduction is making it very quiet. The wind rushes past my face and through my hair. Okay, so you can quite clearly hear the compressor working there. Okay, so even with those extreme settings, Platinum Digital is very clean. It's not creating any distortion. It's just a bit of clean pumping that's happening on the vocal right now. Let's see how that differs with Studio VCA. The wind rushes past my face and through my hair. Okay, so lots of distortion, really, really crunchy tone, which I quite like, to be honest. Sometimes I'll go to an extreme setting like this and then dial it down to a softer setting after I found the circuit that I'm looking for in terms of the tonal distortion that I'm looking for. So from here, I might just turn down the threshold and turn down the ratio after I found that that is the character that I'm going for. Sometimes I'll actually have compressors in series. So I might have one before this that's just doing the general taming of the dynamics of the vocal and then a compressor like the Studio VCA after that for more color, for more crunch. Let's explore the other circuit types. The wind rushes past my face and through my hair For the briefest of moments I feel like I'm flying also, very crunchy, but in a slightly different way. Very, very fast, very quick response as well to, to the incoming signal. Let's have a listen to some more. The wind rushes past my face and through my hair. For the briefest of moments, I feel like I'm flying. So Classic VCA is actually providing a very well-rounded tone, but not too distorted, not too crunchy, still quite clean. It really tightens up the vocals, actually. Even with an aggressive setting like this, it's not too pumpy in any way. So let's dial that down and see if we can get to a place that actually sounds really cool. The wind rushes past my face and through my hair The moments I feel like I'm flying I see the tops of trees, the start of leaves The curvature of the earth Now I see how this works Okay, so I'm actually very happy with how the classic VCA is working on this vocal right now. Notice as well that it doesn't have some of the features that the Platinum Digital one has or some of the others have, that's 
basically because of just how it works internally. This is working at an effective attack and release time that I think is working for this vocal right now. So this could be the one that I end up with. What I'm actually going to do is come over to my channel strip and I'm going to leave that one there. I'm going to pull that one down a little bit. So I've still got this compressor here. Let's move that back there. But before that compressor, I'm going to have another one. Set to platinum digital. So auto gain off. And remembering my previous settings were roughly here. And I'm going to use this one to cleanly manage the dynamics of the vocal going into the VCA compressor that I just created. So let's close that for a minute. The wind rushes past my face and through my hair For the briefest of moments I feel like I'm flying See the tops of trees, the start of leaves, the curvature of the earth. Okay, so that one's kind of taking care of the top of the peak. And then this one is taking care more of the body of the sound, the general characteristic of it. Rushes past my face and through my hair For the briefest of moments I feel like I'm flying I see the tops of trees, the start of leaves The curvature of the earth Now I see how this works Okay, so I'm loving what I'm hearing right now I love the way that the compressors are working together the platinum compressor is just cleanly taking care of some of the dynamics. And then this compressor, the classic VCA, is doing some more dynamic compression, but also adding to the character that I'm starting to really, really like, that I'm starting to really go for with this mix. I'm going to leave that one there and load another one. And then from here, we're going to explore some of the other circuit types. So vintage VCA. I'm going to turn off the auto gain, turn off the auto release. I'm going to bring these down as usual. And really high ratio, really low threshold. And probably need a bit of makeup gain now. Let's see what happens. She's past my face and through my hair For the briefest of moments I feel like I'm flying I see the tops of trees, the start of leaves The curvature of the earth Now I see how this works You're the feather I'm the hammer For bodies with binding energy There's nothing quite like you and me The wind rushes past my face and through my hair Okay, so as you heard, this one has a really aggressive tone which it's kind of cool on the body of the sound, but it was destroying the transients, the consonants that he was singing. So I actually just increased the attack and most of those problems went away, but still had that nice crunchy tone to the body of the notes that he was singing. And then I refined, I refined the, the threshold and then I adjusted the makeup gain. So it was the same loudness and pretty happy with that. So it's another compressor circuit that I've used in the same chain. Let's take it from here. I'm going to carry on with this process of using serial compression, which for me is a very common thing. It has a lots of benefits, like using different circuit types, like having, like adding different color to the sound. This is also going into more creative territory in terms of 
the tonal characteristics as the dynamic characteristics of the vocal. So I'm going to load another one. Dynamics compressor. And we'll just use this one to experiment with the last two. So vintage FET, auto gain off, auto release off, dial down, dial down. Go really aggressive on here. The wind rushes past my face and through my hair. For the briefest of moments, I feel like I'm flying. Again, you can hear just another type of distortion that we have available to us when we really go aggressive on this compressor circuit type. Now let's try Vintage Opto. It's also important to note not just the way that it distorts the sound and the color that it adds to the sound, but the way that the compressor behaves, the way that it reacts in terms of attack and release times and stuff like that, because all of these different circuit types, they just have their own characteristics. And it's good for you and your ears and your development to just kind of experiment with them, go really aggressive on the settings and just get to know the flavor that's available to you across these different circuit types. Okay, so this one is definitely something we haven't heard before. The wind rushes past my face and through my hair. For the briefest of moments, I feel like I'm flying. I see the tops of trees, the start of leaves. The curvature of the earth Now I see how this works Notice how I, again, just dialed up the attack to 5 milliseconds which removed a lot of the distortion that was happening on the transients but still gave me a little bit of colour in the overall sound So, like I said, experiment with all of these different types of circuitry that are available to you, the different properties that they have and just know that they are available to you all inside Logic's own compressor, especially, <clears throat> and the benefit is when you are compressing a vocal or compressing anything, whether that be drums or, or anything at all, you could just easily switch between these different circuit types and experiment with different color without having to close a plugin and load another plugin. And like I've just demonstrated to you, having these different compressors in series can really help you shape the tonal characteristics of the vocal sound. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.